Good morning guys, it's Saturday. Uh, we made it through another week of this learning opportunity. I heard back from a few of you that you painted along with the last video. That is uh, just wonderful. It makes me very happy to hear that. We're going to do a real easy painting today. Um, sunset and cliffs. And we're going to work on a really small 11 by 14 canvas. So grab your brushes, grab a few colors, and we'll paint. If you recall, I don't have a whole lot of rules. I don't have any rules except that you have a good time while you're painting, uh, but you do kind of need a horizon line and that's your call if you want more sky or less sky or however you want it. For me, it's kind of uh, right in the middle. Again, this is chalk. I don't care. Then I get sucked up into my paint and I'm going to have some cliffs over here. I like one that comes down just a little bit into the water. So this one's going to be really close when we paint it. And then we're going to have one that kind of, I don't know, it just kind of bends a little. And we got this little cliff thing that happens. That's pretty much it. That's it. I'm going to throw a little blue on this canvas. If you want to know, it's like a cerulean blue and a little bit darker blue, cobalt, if you're into the, the names of this stuff. I just grab some blues that I like. And I want to throw a little bit of blue in a few places. This is very thin layer. As you know, we go back over it. Um, I put the blue in so it can dry up a little bit so that when I put my yellows in, we don't end up with a green sky because that's never a good thing to have a green sky. So I just throw a little bit of blue in here wherever I see it, wherever I want it. It's all going to change when I throw some yellow on top of it, but I like to get that in there just like that. There you go. I've grabbed a little alizarin crimson or red, whatever you have, throw a little white with it. And I'm going to throw some in here because I like all these colors in my sky. This makes it more beautiful, more powerful. And that's not a lot, but a little bit. So let's just throw some of that in there. I'm going to grab just a little bit more white because it was a little too pink for me. Soften it up, just like that. Again, not a lot of rules, guys. Just make it like you want it. Just like that. I've grabbed a little burnt sienna. You could also do a brown and throw a little red in there, a little orange would do the same thing if you don't have burnt sienna. It happens to be one of my favorite colors. I'm just going to bring some of it in here so that I have a little depth when I start throwing that beautiful yellow in. And again, just put it where you want it. You have to try to imagine the end product. You can't always do that, but especially with mine because they change. But what I'm going to want is some depth in my sky. Since I have this <clears throat> on my brush already, I'm just going to lay in some down here. This is going to be a shadow at some point, but it just lets me think ahead just a little bit of how this is going to play out. Just like go back in and we start darkening some of these areas. This will make more sense. Maybe. I don't know, but we'll try. I like to throw a little white in. I call it reserving the space so that when I throw the yellow on there, I keep that white, that power, that sunset sort of feel. You're not going to see this, um, but it does help. It helps me. If you have a better way, go for it. I just like to get it in there. 
always feel like I have to say, you know, again, this is the way I paint. It's worked for me for years and it makes me happy. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people who would say that I'm doing it wrong. I don't care. I've thrown some yellow. This is just a cadmium yellow. Um, and I just start building this sky. It's going to change. It's going to change. But right now, I'm having a good time with this sky. I go up into this blue and this kind of uh, pinkish color, but I'm not going to cover it. I'm just going to build around it. Just going to build around it a little. lighter yellow after this but I want this to have an opportunity to dry up a little bit you can start to see your sky build in here in a minute very exciting I get really soft when I get towards this reserved space where I put this white even though I'm going to go back over it, I don't want to take my white away. I call this my magic brush. You can do almost anything with it. And I like what's happening here. I'm just going to add a little white to this yellow because I can also just grab a lighter shade which would work too switching it up a little bit just like that so I've grabbed a little orange I'm going to go back over my burnt sienna because I want to soften it up a little bit and just Bring a little in and just let it kind of streak out for you. It's kind of cool when you do that. You get these really nice effects. You don't want to cover all your yellow. You just want some. You just want some of this. You just work it in wherever you see that you want it. So now that I have kind of a base base level base idea of how I want my sky to look I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna darken some of the areas and I'm gonna lighten some of the areas and I'm sure your painting is different than mine so you decide where you want more power and where you want it to soften just like that so for me I want a little bit more of this gorgeous burnt sienna over here again this is one of my favorite colors because you can just do so much with it. And I just pull in whatever it is. I just pull it in because it makes me happy to do that. And you can see your sky starting to build when you do that. It's very cool. A little bit over here. kind of throw paint in and then soften it again probably not the way you're supposed to do it but that's the good part about knowing what you're supposed to do you just do what you want just like that so I'm going back in now with uh, the yellow again to you know make my sky a little richer and that again is wherever you see it, however you want it. We're going to make a softer transition from this blue into the yellow sky in a little while. But right now I just want to play with my sky a little bit. And so that's what I'm doing. Just get it like you want it. If you want to throw in a little bit more white, throw in a little bit more white. Just 
like that. So I've gone back in and thrown some yellow where I want it, a little more power in some areas. And since I have this yellow on my brush already, I know that down here somewhere, somewhere later on, I'm gonna build a little bit of sand. So just clean my brush if I throw in a little color right about there just like that you move on I've decided that I want to put some clouds um, kind of soften the transition between the blue sky and the yellow so I'm just grabbing some white I'm gonna throw it in there and then I'll go back and build on it as I choose but for now I'm just going to throw a little bit of this white in here and see what happens. Just like that. Again, we talked about this last week. It's kind of a, just a little circular move, movement for you. And I'm just going to build it in and pull it out. Just like that. Just like that. I'm laughing with Dan. If I have one more cup of coffee, this is going to be like a 10 minute painting. Um, I'm going to throw a couple of darks in because again I'm trying to reserve my space so I have an idea as I move forward. So I'm just adding now this is just um, burnt umber or brown or whatever you want, whatever you have. I'm just going to keep throwing that in here just to hold my space. So I'm just going to come in here and try to decide where I want this dark. I'm, I'm kind of doing this to the side guys so you can see it, but I know that I want dark on the right side. I'm just going to put a little dark in here for now and then I'll shape it up. I'm using the same brush as you can tell. You know, some people would probably use like four or five different brushes, but uh, not me. I'm just going to come in here and get it where I want it. And I can build on it as I move forward. So let me just decide where I want to see this cliff come into the water. So I've laid the first layer of my darts in. I'm going to go back in with a lighter color. In this case, it's the burnt sienna again. I don't want this to be too smooth. It's, it's rock. But I do want to show where the color breaks. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep building this so that I can get that break in there. And then I'll go back and fix the colors like I want them. So I'll go back with some dark and just start building. So I have some of my darks already blocked in. I'm gonna go in and throw a few highlights so you can start to see how these clips are gonna shape up. And then we'll do a little water. We'll come back and throw some more highlights on them. Throw a couple of waves in there. We're gonna be done here in a few minutes. I'll come back to the cliffs later on. Uh, as you know, I keep working these paintings. But I wanna go ahead and start building my water. So I'm just going to get a line in. Now I'm going with orange and a little bit of burnt sienna. But the, the water itself is going to be pretty much everything I used up here and, and then some. But I want to get that line in so I can start working this. And the other thing is I know probably didn't explain this to you, but somewhere down here, I'm going to have some waves come in. Yeah, why not? So I'm just going to decide kind of where that's going to happen. So it's going to happen about right there for me. It can happen wherever you want it. 
So since we put this shoreline in, we might as well throw in a couple of the rocks that uh, are gonna sit here. This really, really doesn't matter right now, guys. All you want is something that you can build on later so we can maybe have a wave break over the top of them. We'll see. We'll see. Just like that. Just to hold your space. That's it. So I'm going to start building the water, adding the water. Uh, and it is going to be pretty much the same colors that I used in the sky. I think I'm repeating myself. Oh well. Um, so I'm going to start and just bring in my browns, some orange, and some yellow. And you do the same. I'll see you in a little while. I have my first layer of color on for my water. It's a little flat, so I'm gonna go in there and wake it up a little bit. And this will, it'll wake it up more when we have our foreground in. But for now, I'm just gonna go in and just get a little more pizzazz to it. So I'm just gonna decide where I want to put a few highlights. I know I want some here, because in my mind, the color, the light, would kind of streak it out over here a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. Kind of just like that. You can put as much or as little as you want. We are gonna put a few little waves in here. We're gonna have them break over these rocks. And you can see I went back and darkened my rocks just a little bit. Most of them will be covered up, but I wanted to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the foreground before I put in these waves so they'll make a little bit more sense. So my foreground is sand, wet sand. So in this picture, it's gonna be the same colors, but it's gonna be a kind of a softer stroke, whatever that means, uh, but you'll see as we go along. Like I said, we're gonna go in and uh, pop this water a little bit in a few places so that it makes some sense when it actually breaks down here uh, that we have a little movement in it and I will probably change a lot of this up but I need to get some idea of how I want this to flow. I'm just going to put a little bit in and let it kind of come down. They don't have to be straight. Then what I do is I try to figure out where this breaks. I'm grabbing the burnt sienna, maybe a little bit of red. Anything darker than what's already there will work. And I just kind of make a decision as to how this is going to happen for me. And I just kind of make it happen that way. Just throw in a little dark. want to be able to see those white breaks, what do you call them, white waves break in certain areas. So I just kind of decide where my shoreline goes, sort of, sort of like that. No big deal, just like that. Then I'm going to take some white, pure white, because it's going to pick up some of this color. And hopefully this works, sometimes it does. I'm going to come a little bit over it, just a little bit over it, and pull it ever so softly and let it break, just a little bit, and then catch it on the bottom again, right above where I built that line, just like that. Right up here, I know I want one to kind of come down a little bit like that and pull it out a little bit just like that. And I'll go back and work these more as this dries so I can get that layered effect. And I definitely want it to break over here. gonna lose most of my rock here but that's what I wanted to have happen. Just let that break. Just like that. And bring it down here a little bit. And I'll go 
back in and build those in a few other places. And we'll come back and see what it looks like in a few minutes. We are almost finished. I want to show you um, how I do this particular stroke and I have to stand up for this so I'll apologize in advance for whatever view you're going to get of this. Um, but basically you just put your white paint on top of whatever brush you had grabbed and I'm hoping you can see this but it's kind of upside down and you just kind of go along the edge to get this lovely wave action okay and I go right above that little darker line I had told you I was going to put in. This is really, uh, you really do need to be upside down for this one, guys. So just, again, I apologize for the view. And then I go on top just to make sure that you understand why you got that wave. Kind of like that. And we'll come back in a little while and put a little dark underneath there, and it makes even more sense. Okay? Okay, my friends, I'm going to wrap this up. It's a gorgeous day. I want to go cut the grass. Um, I hope you had some fun. I hope you learned something. I hope you keep painting. Just because I'm done doesn't mean you have to be. If you want to change anything up, add some highlights, lowlights, change the colors, as long as you're having a good time. That's what this is about. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.